let's talk about gracious professionalism. In many ways, it's the heart and the soul of FIRST. Simply put, a big deal. Pay attention to the professor. He's right. When Woody first used those words in the first, first kickoff, I said more. And the FIRST community has embraced gracious professionalism for over 20 years. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. The term was coined to describe the behavior of a bunch of MIT students who were competing like crazy, but also helping each other. Because of you, that behavior has spread like wildfire throughout FIRST. In FLL's Senior Solutions Challenge, members of the Electric Pineapples liked the folks they met while doing research at the Fairfax Nursing Center. They decided to become bingo game helpers and to conduct fundraising projects to buy holiday gifts for their new elderly friend. FTC teams MASH and The Sprouts met recently at the Ms. Daisy Ramp Riot competition. The Sprouts were there to take notes about how to build a robot. MASH said, let's just do it now. So they worked together, built a new robot, and the two teams ended the day as the winning alliance in the finals. At the 2009 Greater Kansas City FRC Regional, after the robot had been unloaded for the event, thieves stole Panther Robotics' trailer with tools and important extra parts. An expensive loss that could have ended the competition for them. But thanks to Team 525, it was not over. They heard what happened and gave the Panthers the balance of the gift cards donated to the Kansas City Regional teams. Over 20 other teams joined by donating their cards and some cash, and MasterCard upped the ante by replacing the donated cards. I see lots of these examples every year at first. Clearly, gracious professionalism is contrary to what is promoted by many parts of our culture today. It's nothing like reality TV or bullying. It's not about greed or ruthless competition. It is sometimes really hard. You gotta put we ahead of me. It is not sticky sweet or simple, and it's both from the heart and the mind. It's sort of like wise kindness. The gracious part has to do with empathy, helping, sympathy. The professionalism part has to do with knowledge, wisdom, judgment. Gracious, you probably know in your heart instinctively, but note that it must not be confused with pity or condescension or believing yourself to be better than someone else. So let's talk about professionalism. When you learn something, you likely did so with the help of others. The others may include your parents, your friends, your first competitors, your teachers. But the others also include Galileo, Einstein, Newton, Curie, and also folks like Jane Goodall, Mahatma Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, Rachel Carson. The point is that our professional knowledge comes from the brilliance of others. We're all standing on the shoulders of giants and we owe others a lift. With the privilege of knowing comes the responsibility of integrity. Society simply does not work unless people can trust those who have special knowledge. If you're a physician, you help your patients. If you're a parent, you help your children. If you're an engineer, you make life better for the people using the things you produce. A professional is in a trusted position. Gracious professionals are simply good, smart people doing good, smart things. And the benefit of gracious professionalism is shared between the giver and the receiver. Obviously, they both win. When we do something nice for others, the giver wins with a boost in rational self-esteem. And here's a fact. Science is teaching us that the giver also wins because our bodies release endorphins and other good stuff into the brain. A third more subtle but important benefit is that through practicing gracious professionalism, it becomes part of the way you define yourself. If the GP habit gets started and moves into your subconscious, it can be a major asset in everything you do in life. It can be as important as being observant or curious or even creative. Yet another important benefit is that being graciously professional will attract other gracious professionals. That is the right crowd. For work, play, or any kind of life partnership, you want to be with those folks. I got hooked on FIRST when I was four. It's what my family does. My older brothers were competitors, and I was their team mascot, a role I cherish to this day. 
My brothers went off to college and the baton was handed to me. When I was nine, we had first Lego League competitions in our basement. Then we got our school board to start an FLL program. I graduated to FRC where my passion for engineering grew. Now I'm delighted to say that I'm studying mechanical engineering. First is the reason I'm here. Engineering classes are not easy, but my wonderful mentors have really given me a head start. They taught me that I should aim to be a special kind of engineer. What BU calls a societal engineer, essentially a gracious professional. I'm expected to make big positive impacts in the world. That's why I joined this community. Hanging with great people is the best thing you can do for yourself. Thank you, First. Thank you again, First Community. We are just getting started.